He'll have to wait a little bit longer than expected for a return to action. I've had to utilise the last few days. Um, a mixture of rest and training. Um, obviously we've been off the back of a really busy schedule of games. Um, so we managed to give our players a few days off. But then we were preparing for the Rochdale game. We managed to fit in a game um, for the players who hadn't been playing. So that was good for them to get some uh, match minutes under their belt. Um, and... Yeah, we've been training and resting and recovering and unfortunately the, the game against Rochdale was off, uh, which has not been, it's been frustrating because, you know, the Sunderland and the Rochdale games we were looking forward to, so um, out of our control, but um, we wanted to obviously play them games and carry on the good form we're in. However, um, we've not been able to do that and we have to turn our attentions to, to Shrewsbury tomorrow night. Yeah, when you have momentum, the one thing you want to do is just have a game coming every couple of days. That's been halted a little bit. It's mm. about picking up where you left off. Yeah, it feels strange, like not being. It's the Accrington game seems ages ago now. Um, uh, say both games have been out of our out of our control. It's um, unfortunately that's happened at both those clubs, Sunderland and Rochdale, and um, that was the decision that's been taken. Um, frustrating because we were ready to play. Uh, I'm sure the supporters were. Looking forward to seeing us play, um, uh, but yeah, we're in good form. We have to remember that, and we've got momentum. Even though I say it, you can lose a little bit of momentum by not playing, uh, but we know we have to be fully prepared and ready for facing a, an informed team tomorrow night in Shrewsbury. Matty Virtue and Chris Maxwell still self-isolating. What's the latest with them? Have you checked in on the pair on the phone? Yeah, yeah, they're both they're both okay. Um, they've obviously. Had symptoms and they've um, recovering. Um, they'll they'll get checked over on the uh, New Year's Eve. Uh, hopefully, we'll get some good news, and then they have to um, follow the EFO training um, return to return to training protocol. So, um, fingers crossed that they're okay and we can welcome them back into our squad as soon as possible. You've had Sam Walker in the building and, and training the squad, and probably in line for a potential debut now. Is he, he look fine? Yeah, yeah, Sam's been up. Um, frustrating for him as well. Obviously, he came here on New, uh, on Christmas Eve um, to you know train with a train with a group. Uh, had a good conversation with him, um, and then for him to get the call that the game was off on on Boxing Day was was hugely frustrating for him and us. Um, but you know he's he's with us. Um, He's ready for the game against Shrewsbury Turner our night. We thank him for coming up. We thank Reddy for allowing Sam to be here. And hopefully he can um, integrate into the squad quickly, work with the um, within the group we've got and, and say, help us out tomorrow night at Shrewsbury. What sort of challenge awaits against Shrewsbury? Because they've had that usual new manager bounce, haven't they? They're in tremendous form. Um, Steve Cottrell, you know, a very experienced manager. It's gone in there and has an immediate impact on that group of players. Um, you've only got to look at the results they've had. You know, I think to go to Hull, um, Doncaster and Lincoln and not to concede a goal and to win all of them games shows you what they're about as a group. Um, they drew at Wigan at the weekend but should have won that game. They were a the better team. Um, so we're under no illusions of it's a tough, t tough task. They've got momentum, they're in form, they've got belief in what they're doing. So... Um, they're in rhythm playing games we've lost a little bit so we need to make sure that come the first whistle tomorrow night we're ready and ready to go Shrewsbury remains an area that's, that's tier 2 so there'll be 2,000 fans potentially inside the stadium and all that not Blackpool fans it'll be quite surreal won't it to have a, a bit yeah, of atmosphere in the ground yeah it will it, it, it'll be it'll be strange but nice strange you know you want to feel that atmosphere you want to you want to hear the noise you want to feel the emotion within the ground um, so I think you said to the players, would you take 2,000 home or away um, or no supporters? They'd always take supporters, we all would. So um, hopefully tomorrow night we don't hear too much from them. We can keep them quiet, but it'll be a, it'll be a nice feeling and one we're all looking forward to.